Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about one of the strongest modern decks right now, You Are Twin. You Are Twin has been dominating modern for some time. It is a combo based deck, uh, and the combo essentially is Pestamite, Deceiver, Extract, one of those two pieces, and Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki. A lot of decks do not play Kiki Jiki, but if you want to go 8 combo pieces from each side and have 16 combo pieces, then you play 4 of each. And that's actually the type of twin deck I play right now. The combo pieces, Deceiver Extract is very good. It survives a lightning bolt. It is run as a four of in most combo decks. It's very good in tempo as well. It does buy you a turn a lot of times and can be a good defender. Pestamite. So Pestamite is more of an aggro build. It has two damage and it has evasion, but pretty much any card will kill it. Um, therefore, it's not as good as Extract. So if you were going to run less copies of one, it would probably be Pestamite. Splinter Twin. So Splinter Twin is a turn four kill. It is very efficient with either Extract or Pestamite. The card is just a beast. Um, it is going to be reprinted as a rare and hopefully we can pick up a few copies at a affordable price. Now Kiki Jiki, so in addition to Splinter Twin, you can use Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki, what I use them a lot for is to make Snapcaster Mage duplicates and to buy turns. Kiki Jiki is not played in every single build, but in my opinion, it is a very good card. Next, the cantrip. So as any combo deck, you're going to try to draw cards, uh, filter cards, and obviously the visions is very expensive, but you have to play it since you're in blue. Sleight of hand, uh, sleight of hand is less good than visions, and you don't want to see as much, but you have to play filter. Next, Gitaxian Probe and Peak. So Gitaxian Probe allows you to know does your opponent have removal? Does your opponent have a lightning bolt that's going to kill my uh, Pestamite? Does your opponent have a card that can counter? Gitaxian Probe, again, extremely good because honestly, knowledge is power and it doesn't cost you. It costs you two life and life is not as relevant. Now, Twisted Image. Twisted Image is can tripping, but it also can be removal. It kills Birds of Paradise and it kills Noble Hierarch. It also kills Spell Sky. So Twisted Image is very good against the decks, the one card that can beat you, Spell Sky. And then you can can trip as well, which is good. Telling Time. Uh, telling Time is not really played in the deck, but if it depends on how much you want to commit for combo. And, and I can see Telling Time being played. Now, Dig Through Time is banned and that was that really hurt the deck a lot as well as the ancestral recall essentially was banned as well now your counter magic the spell is very very uh good for you swan song comes out of the combo uh, comes out of the cyborg and protects your combo remand as honestly remand is probably one of the best tempo moves you can do it buys you another turn and mana leak so mana leak again you're going to finish your opponent extremely fast so the fact that mana leak is irrelevant later games or becomes less powerful later games is not that important now your removal you play lightning bolt lightning bolt does a lot um it doesn't answer spell sky and doesn't answer levana but that being said it just has a tempo element to it where maybe you you decide, hey, I'm just going to bass face with lightning bolts, snapcasters, and pestamites. And I've seen many games come down to making splinter twinning snapcaster mages and make shooting lightning bolts over and over again. Electroculize. Uh, this card is also a cantrip, um, cantripping removal. It's very good. Anytime you can remove something and draw a card, especially in this deck, you're presenting more opportunities. Dismember. So Dismember is instant speed removal for killing Tomogorf. Tomogorf is obviously a clock that you have to race. And a turn two Tomogorf uh, when you are on the draw is actually very, very aggressive because there's not much interaction you can have. Dismember takes care of that. Roast, again, Roast is a card that people will sideboard against you. And if you're playing the mirror match, you should sideboard that card as well. Now, what type of creatures do you play? You play a Vendillion Click, you play Snapcaster Mage, and then kind of like Grim Lava Mancher. I like the fact that Grim Lava Mancher can do double duty as a pseudo blocker type. Um, essentially, anytime you can block a Tomogoy, if you're saving yourself return, and 
every turn is important because you play a combo deck but it also can burn a opponent to death so and you have like plenty of cards in your graveyard to do so because you're cantripping the mana is very simple steam vents uh, one of the most expensive if not the most expensive shock land at the moment so for falls uh tarn always running four of those misty rainforest again you don't really need to worry too much about it stomping grounds breeding pool uh, sieving reef uh, your mana is very difficult sometimes so anytime you can have both and the life again doesn't matter because you're going to kill your opponent relatively fast the deck is kind of expensive it is extremely fun to play with especially if you love combos it does tend to be more luck dependent because a turn four splinter twin combo will beat most decks but sometimes you just don't get the piece that you need and you can play either tempo or go full out combo overall the deck is a very good deck and i really enjoy playing it